Yo, what's up, guys? It is your boy B back here again with another Wow Classic video. Let's go! Woohoo! Aren't you guys so excited? I'm excited. Let's go, guys. But okay, guys, enough of the rambling. Let's get straight into freaking business, guys. All right, let's freaking quest and get some levels. We are 10 levels away from reaching max level. So lit, guys. It is about to be so lit. And my character looks pretty cool. We got some new shoulder pads. We got a new we a weapon. Our weapon matches our old weapon, actually. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, guys, in the last video, we um, were questing in Zanger Marsh. We completed the uh, quest that we could uh, for the um, for this in this little cave section at the bottom, uh, help out the spore locks and stuff. And we complete all the quests, but they didn't give us any other quests to do. So like, you know, we're kind of screwed right now. I mean, we only have two quests available, and they're group quests. Um, maybe we could do it. I'm thinking maybe we could do it because we killed Boglash, so we might be able to kill these guys. However, these guys, <clears throat> this quest is an orange level quest, so it's going to be a little bit harder. So, I'm just going to go check the area out to see if it's even doable. And then, um, We'll figure things out from there. We're gonna fight the guys, and if we could beat them, that would be great. If we can't, that would stink. We're probably gonna have to find more quests, so... Pretty much this video, I'm kinda just winging it right now. Um, like, literally, we only have two quests and the group quests. Um, we might even have to go back to Hellfire Peninsula. Sheesh, I don't wanna do that, but we might have to, guys. So, uh, let's check out, uh, let me read the quest dialogues to see where these guys are. Serpent Lake. Lagoon in the central southern region. Oh, okay, so we got one of the bosses in the lagoon here, so... <clears throat> We're at one of the locations of uh, the quest. We're at, um, for the leader of the Dark Crest, we're uh, at the right area. So let's go try to find the leader of the Dark Crest here, Mr. Raja Hoghazed. And let's try, oh, sorry, I'm just reading the quest. And let's try to whoop his clap them booty cheeks, you know? Uh, by Cenarian Scouts at the Lagoon. He was spotted by Cenarian Scouts. What does that even mean? I mean, maybe he's like over here, like, because that's like a big building, right? It looks like that's where like a boss would be. Potentially. Because uh, all I'm seeing right now is... Uh, just these, like, uh, elemental guys. So I'm not seeing any Nagas, but... Oh, here's some Naga encampments over here. So maybe he's over here. <clears throat> uh, by Cenarian Scouts. Alright, and it looks like these Naga guys are notorious for launching attacks onto the Cenarian Refuge, aka not so good. Uh, and we're just gonna start fighting these guys, actually, because we, I mean, we pulled the aggro on this dude, so I'm just gonna fight you. Oh, this guy hits, pr oh my god, this guy's hitting me so hard. He just crit me, like, two times for, like, 300 damage. Sheesh! Oh, we got some pants. All right, we'll accept this guy's party. What do you want, bro? Whoa, what the fuck? What do you want, my guy? You gonna help me do this quest? The Dark Crest Enclave. So it looks like we have a little buddy here to help us complete the quest. So that is pretty nice, guys. Ooh, unidentified plant part. Who the heck is this? Oh, what the? Oh. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go focus. We'll focus this guy. I'll kill this siren. I'll kill this siren. You kill the siren that's on you. Oh, we're Frost Nova. Oh, now we're Silence? Uh oh. Oh, no, we. Get out of here. Oh, wow. So we've been finding a lot of the unidentified plant parts. That's pretty good. What is this buff? All damage increased? Oh, wow. That's just insane. Oh, who the frick is this? Alright. Oh, we have a chain heal. Right. Let's pop our chain heal. Wait, what? That didn't even chain heal anything. Man, we got skimazed, bro. Alright, I need to gain mana. Hold up, hold up, my guy. Okay, we also need to find uh, Raja Hag Hazed. Wait, I think this is a card in Hearthstone. I think Raja is a card, right? And I think it just came out in the um, Voyage to the Sunken City quest. I mean, Voyage to the Sunken City expansion, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Hiya! Uh, so let's just heal up our little friend here. Oh, this guy's an orange level guy. Oof. He seems, uh, he's not, uh, he's not that strong with the help of, you know, my, this hunter guy here. So it looks like we should be doing some smooth, oh, who the heck is? Uh, nothing to dispel. What is this? 50% of the damage taken is split with an ally. Whoa, that's a pretty cool mechanic thing. Get out of here, you freaking drain eye. Alright, so we got a. Man, there's a freaking. There's someone freaking doing like. There's someone doing like the. Uh, mowing the grass and shit outside. Man, that's loud, bro. Hopefully, you guys can't hear it in the video. Or else that would be quite unfortunate. Oh, we get reputation from. Uh, for Scenarian Refuge by killing these little, uh, the Naga guys. Oh, is this the Raja guy? Yeah, this is- Oh my god, he's an elite boy. Okay, so he is like, uh, Boglash. However, I feel like we probably might not- We probably couldn't solo him, I feel like. He could be very tough for us to solo. Maybe if we were, like, level 61 or, like, 62, yeah, but... Alas, we are only level 60. Alas, my friends. Oh, big damage there. Frick yes. Ah, oh, get out of here, you freaking... You naga, you dirty nagas. Alright, here we go. Here's Rajaj. And it looks like our buddy here is going for a little drinky poo. I guess we could go for a drinky poo ourselves, however, we're good, we're good, we don't need to have a drinky poo. We can just have our totems up, all will be fine. Yeah, hunters are pretty good at like soloing questing content, they're pretty good, not gonna lie. Cause that pet man. In the early stages, hunters are... Oh my god, oh my god, please, 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 please. In the early stages, um... Hunters kind of stink, but once they, you know, get their pet to be leveled up and stuff, they get a lot stronger. Uh, okay, we just gotta try to burst this guy down. Uh, we're getting kind of low. I need to just play the tank role. Well, actually, I don't need to anymore, because his, uh... Pet aggro the tank, which is really good. But oh wow, that guy hits like a, a freaking truck though. But he's dead though. Nice, nice. Let's go, dudes. So we got one of the wanted poster quests completed, dude. That's actually huge. It's actually large. Uh, increases attack power by 123 in cat, bear, diver, and moon can force only. Go. Whoa, dude, that's an insane druid staff. That is really insane. Wow. What the? Oh shit, he called the squad on us. Yo, chill, bro. 
Yo, chill, fam. Now, what is this guy doing? That, like, that water elemental, like, called some homies. These homies to, like, help him out and shit. Sheesh. It's pretty wild. Nice. Ooh, fish scales, too. Let's go, dude. We need those. Alright, it's time to heal up, and I don't know if he wants to do the other quest. Oh, it looks like he does have the other quest as well. So it looks like we're probably... It looks like, I mean, we can probably do it, I guess. Do you need to disable the controls? Not yet. Not yet. I need to do this. Let's do the leader of the blood scales. Let's do the leader of the blood scales. Okay, where's the other guy? Um, the other guy is over at... Um... Where is he? In the northern region? It was last at a Serpent Lake? Serpent Lake. Uh, it says it's at like the northern side, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming... It's like somewhere here? Oh, sheesh. Can I give water walking? I can give water walking to... This guy over here. What was he doing? Oh, he's oh he's got to do the controls thing. Okay. Well, I don't have to do the controls yet because I'm a little bit lower level. I think that's a higher level quest. So, um... Yeah, we can't do that yet. I was going to help him out though. I didn't even know he was doing anything. I was like, wait, where's my teammate? I was about to give him water walking. Ah, yeah. Eternium lockbox. Oh, we won it. Cool. So, yeah, it looks like uh, he has to... Hey, get off your mount. Get off your mount. Get off your mount. I'll give you water walking. Just to take a little shortcut, I guess. I mean, like, it is a shortcut. It beats going all the way around here, you know? Like, it really does. Just a little... Not Hopefully this Lagoon Eel... Oh, no! Frick! And he stunned me! This bastard! This rat bastard! Alright, I guess we're gonna... No, I'm just running. I'm just running. Alright, well, he's not running. Alright, you know what? I'll, we'll fight this guy. We'll fight this fricker. This freaking lagoon. Oh, no! There's another one! Just leave me alone! I'm sorry. No, just... Just leave me alone. I'm just a little doge. Why must you hurt me? Sheesh! Run, run! Book it! Just book it! Get out of here. Get out of here. What the? Did my light, did my screen just like flicker or something? That was weird. <clears throat> that was strange. Yeah, we just I just got freaking owned. Holy. Holy, that freaking um Those eels, bro. Those eels are something serious, man. Jeez, Louise. Dude, it's freaking he wanted me. He wanted me. <clears throat> uh, okay, where am I going, though? I don't even know where the lake is. It looks like... Uh, oh, oh? Oh? Wait, where is this guy going? Is this where we're supposed to go? 
Wait a second. Where is the... Oh, he's got to do the controls, right? Oh, he says it's that way. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm blocking the... My face is probably blocking the chat, so you guys can't see what he's saying, but... He said that the, um... The boss is here. So let's go! Rage? What's his name? Rageous? Fiashi? Sheesh, bro. That is a wild name, bro. Reishi Fujashi. Alright, so we have entered the blood scale ground. Oh, here she is. Rageous Fiashi. It is time to die, Rageous. Alright, it's time to freaking die. Alright, oh, 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 we got a bunch of people here on us. Alright, it's time to get down with these guys. What's up, Mr. Blood Skill guy? Uh, wrecked slave? Hey, where you going? What the hell? He's gone. Man, it's just dipped. Oh, I forgot we have these fishy things. Let's eat these fish. Oh, wow, this guy's got a lot of quests here to do. So, actually... That's good news, that's good news. We have a bunch of questy poos that are about to pop up once we level up. This guy is level 63. Ravager Dog! Oh, thanks, man. Nice, these are always good. Because, um... They give you the well-fed buff. You'll become well-fed and gain 40 attack power and 20 spirit. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Here, let me recall my Totskis. Um, how should we fight this guy? We should probably clear out this Naga here first. Yeah, let's clear out this Naga here. Let me interrupt his little uh, water bolt thingamajig. Alright, so let's summon our Totskis. <clears throat> and just straight up own this guy. <clears throat> just gonna wait for him to be ready. I think he's ready. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy here. Alright, let's clear the area outside of the boss here. You know, it's always a very good tactic. Especially if you're soloing. And, I mean, just in general. Because, I mean, if you, like, let's say something goes wrong and, like, you have to, like, uh, kite the boss away and then, like, oh my gosh, like, you just pulled, and now we just pulled, like, five different mobs. It's like broski. It's like broski. Uh, hold on. Alright, let me interrupt this dude's frost bolty. Oh, uh, who the heck is this? Oh, okay, you know what? Oh my god! Okay, we popped the rages here. We gotta burst this guy down. He's summoning these gosh darn water ellies. Alright, we gotta definitely own him. Oh, he's running. Get out of my town! Alright. You freaking Naga lady. Oh, big damage there. Get out of here. Let's go. Oh. Yaman. Oh, he's a Yaman. Alright, let's start dancing here. We gotta hit we gotta bust them moves. Yeah. Damn, is he gonna start dancing too? Are we gonna have a dance party? Damn, no dance party. Damn. Oh, he's crafting. He's crafting. <clears throat> oh, dance party. Let's go, dude. Alright, guys. So, I thought this video was going to be a little bit awkward because I didn't know what I was going to like be doing in this video. But we actually managed to complete both of the wanted poster quests, which is actually huge because we're going to get replacement gloves. Thank God. And then freaking... Uh, And then we have to, uh, what should we do? Cheer. For the Horde. For the Horde. Okay, nice. GG's, boys. GG's, boys. Nice, guys. 
So we actually, yeah, I thought this video was going to be a little bit of a, um, you know, maybe it would have been a whiff of a video. However, we managed to get some content done. We did the little uh, wanted poster quest. And now let's turn in the questy poos because, oh man, we are going to get some juicers. Okay, we are going to get some big fat juicers. All right. Um, we're going to get, let's check out the items, guys. So these though these are what i'm looking for oh my gosh these are going to help me tremendously bruh look at the gloves that i have on now dude like seriously bro this is from the um scarlet monastery type shit bro this is from the scarlet whatever the armory whichever one the dog trainer guy bro we're still using this as requires level 29 we are level 60 dude so thank God we're gonna be getting some new gloves. Uh, we don't need these. We don't need this because they're leather. Um, and I mean, uh, yeah, it's not that good. This is a healing belt, anyways. Let's check the other quest. Let's see what items we get here. Uh, oh, okay. We actually get a belt as well. Okay. 14 agility, 21 stamina. Wow, this is a lot. That's a lot better than the one that we have on now. Let's go, guys. Oh my gosh, this is so lit. Dude, we did it. We completed the um the wanted poster quest. Shout out to Jinju, all right? Make sure if you guys are playing in my server and you see a Jinju, give him free gold or her. I mean, he was as a he was a troll guy, so I'm going to assume he's a guy, but no assumptions here, all right, you know? We do not judge here, all right? Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and turn this quest. Man, what the heck? How do I turn the quest? We gotta go upstairs? Man, what the hell? Who's up here? Are you here? Wow. This is kind of cool. It's like, I, I really, I actually really like the Night Elf um, buildings, like the Night Elf architecture. It actually looks really cool. It's like very, like, nature -y. Like, look at that thing. It's like, kind of Asian, kind of. Like, this is low-key, kind of Asian, bro. Like, I could definitely see this at, like, a Chinese, like, fucking castle or some shit. Or some kind of Asian, like, historic ruins or some shit. This shit was, like, Japanese ruins, all right? Like, right, guys? Like, doesn't it kind of look like it? It's pretty cool. Some Asian stuff. Asian vibes. Alright, but anyways, I need to stop getting distracted, alright? We have to focus on the mission at hand, alright? No slowing down. Warden Hamut. Man, my guy's got the view up here, bro. Bro. If I had, like, a freaking balcony like this, IRL, what I would literally just chill here all day. I would never be inside. If I had something like this, sheesh, I'll be just chilling here, bro. Who the fuck? Oh, these guys, oh, if you guys notice these birds, these guys are actually druids. So these guys are transformed. I believe, I think, <laughs> I think. It could just be a pet, a pet parrot. But you know what? I, we're in this scenario in refuge, so I gotta assume, because they're, they're full, the uh, scenario in refuge is filled with a bunch of druids. So I just thought that maybe that's a druid slight form, but it could be just a regular bird. I don't know. Ew. Fuck it. Okay, whatever. Yisiel expected some enemy opposition to her foray into Outland. Who? Who the fuck is Yisiel? Oh, is Yisiel this chick? Oh, no, she's not. Oh, Yisiel is the lady over there, I believe. In this building. I'm gonna double check, though. That's why us wardens were brought along. We never expected our opposition to come in the strength of numbers that the Naga have shown. Okay. Well, they did, Mr. Warden Hamut, and um, they're growing, so we gotta stop them. Uh, okay, let me turn the first quest. Leader of the Dark Crest. I didn't like the Naga and Azeroth, and I like them less here. It's a real shame our mission could not remain a peaceful one. But you won't see me shedding tears for dead Naga. Here's your reward for taking care of the Dark Crest leader, Hello B. Six gold! Alright, six gold. And we're definitely taking this belt. Because it's going to make us stronger. 
Let's go. Okay, 13,000 experience. Oh, we're not going to hit level 61, though. Bro, we might have to actually go back to Hellfire Peninsula. Sheesh. I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Alright, whatever. Let's turn in this other quest. This is what I'm really here for, guys. The gloves. I'll bet the blood scale will think twice about attacking expedition scouts again. Take this as a reward, Hello B. You've earned it. Alright, thanks, buddy. Look at the difference between the gloves that we have on and these. Holy crap. This is gonna help us take a lot less damage, too, because we're getting so much armor. Be careful. Inventory is full. Uh, let me open these uh, clams. Inventory is full. Man, what the? Oh, oh, yo, oh, bro. If I had my, if I was doing a druid gameplay, this would be so good, bro. But I gotta sell it, probably. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I just woke up and my throat's like very like hoarse and shit. Um. All right. You know what? I don't really have- I should have sold things before, I'm so dumb. Let me sell some stuff real quick, because I don't really even- I need- I have like- I need to make up space in my inventory. Oh, eight gold. Pretty much eight gold. Yeah, it's- I'm gonna sell it. Unless this goes for something in the auction house, but I doubt this will go for anything in the auction house, so I'm just gonna sell it, whatever. Uh, okay, and then let me open up all these little clam skis. Oh yeah, we got these pants here. Let's sell these pants for uh, two gold, fifty silver. That's pretty good. Um, all right, whatever. I guess since we're down here, let's go stop by uh, Lorana because we have uh, eleven identified plant parts, so we can uh, turn those into her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a. Uh... Oh, it's this crap again. Do we get experience for it? Oh, we don't get experience for it. But we do get reputation with Scenarian Expedition, which is pretty good. Edible stock, man. What is this freaking, bruh? He's got this lady skamazing me, bro. These, this, that quest stinks, bro. Unless there's like a random RNG thing where like there's a, it gives you like a random like amazing item, but I don't know if that's even the case. Can we get anything from you? No, we can't get anything yet. All right, whatever. Um, let's go and turn in this other quest. We're definitely not gonna hit level sixty-one, but we're gonna be so close. I might just grind out the the last bit of experience uh, points that we need to hit level sixty-one in Zanger March because I don't feel like going back to Hellfire Peninsula. I just want to leave that place for good, never think about it again. Wow, this guy's sword looks really cool. Let's look at this guy's sword, guys. Hell Reaver. Oh, it's a pole arm. It's not even a sword. It looks like a sword though. Really cool, really cool stuff there, guys. Alright, let's go and turn this quest. Yes, though, bro. Give me these gloves. Go in peace. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're nowhere near uh, the next level. Sheesh! Alright, let's check out um, the stats that we gained by equipping the two new items that we got. So, we're at 241 to 333 damage. What the? That shit went down, bro. What the hell? Oh, because we lost strength, but whatever. You know what? Screw it. I don't even care. Uh, the other, the, uh, this belt is better for sure. I mean, it's just got to be better. This requires item level uh, level forty three. I mean, forty four. <sighs> so I mean, uh, this belt's got to be better. It's it, it says that we do less damage, which is probably true, but we're probably gonna. It's probably better for us. All right, but this though, this is gonna give us a big power spike. So we're at two thirty nine, three thirty one. 243 335 That is pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright guys, alright guys. So we're doing pretty solid in our armor department. The only thing we really have to replace are like maybe this ring. We need a new trinket. Um the cape can get changed and the necklace. So we need Cape, necklace, ring, trinket, and we're pretty much solid. So nice, guys. Let's go. Ooh. Alright, um, I want to browse your goods, lady. Because I need some, I got some things to sell. I'm going to keep this unidentified plant part because 
we could maybe find like 10 more and like that uh, that reputation uh, bonus is you know gonna be pretty good uh you know what and now we're out of quests uh in zanger marsh is that yusio or this is yusio so she's the expedition leader actually wow all right uh, i'm gonna I, we already checked the swamp rat post but i'm just gonna check it again maybe once you do the wanted quest the one it posts a quest, a quest opens up? I don't know, I'm just being optimistic, guys. But I'm gonna check to see again if Swamp Rat Post has quests. I doubt it. Um, but after that, I'm going to Google to see um, where the Horde uh, encampment is on the left side. Um, maybe it's near this Horde Field Scout thing. And then maybe there's some we, there's some quests that we could pick up there just to uh, make the leveling process go by a little bit faster. Because grinding is good and all, but it just takes a lot longer if you're just grinding, you know? Like, you wanna like, do the grinding, but also throw in some quests in there, you wanna throw in some dungeons, you know? Uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, nothing changed, so we still don't have any quests there. So let me look up... Where, uh, Horde Flight Paths in Zanger Marsh. That's just gonna be a, a easier way to find the villages, or like, the encampments and whatnot. There is another flight path um, called Tejon Lin. Oh, it's meth. Uh, wait, what is it called? Zabrigin. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Zabrigin. Okay, let's go to Zabrigin. Uh, and hopefully, uh, the trolls there have some quests for you, boy, because we are a little bit down bad on the quest department. We need some quests. Actually, let me test. Let me do a little DPS test with our new items. We're just gonna go no totems, just straight up auto attacks and spells. Oh my god, yo, chill. That thing is sucking me off. All right, we're doing. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. It's not bad. Uh, I'm just gonna not pick it up. All right, I can't really tell. <laughs> I can't really tell like a big difference in our damage, but there's something there. There's something there. All right, so Zabrogin is all the way over here, so it's going to take quite a hike. We're gonna be. On our mount riding there for quite some time so i'm just gonna edit to, to the part where we get there so i'll see you boys there let's go all right guys moment of truth we have arrived uh, at zabrajin uh let's here's to hoping that there are some quests here i'm hoping so we got a troll encampment in zanger marsh Part of the Dark Spear Trolls, actually. Oh, we got some horde flags here. What is this? Oh, we got a flight master. Master engineering trainer? No, that's not the flight master. What is this? Horde field scout? <gasps> we got some dings, boys. We got some dings. Oh my god. Look at this little murloc pet. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these guys. Gurgle and gargle. Oh my god, I ate 7 Eleven wings last night. Don't ask me why. That was a big mistake, I know. And I ate the taquitos. Dude, I'm not even gonna describe what happened to my toilet this morning. And I'm still feeling it right now, even though I already took a poo poo. Like twice already, dude. Like, what the heck? Like, I guess I'm getting all this poisonous poop out of my bun bunghole, so I guess that's good. What is this guy? Who are you? Blood and thunder. I have marks to redeem. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Equi. Oh, this is for Palace of Librum. Increases your damage done by your. Whoa? Increases damage done by Earth Shock, Flame Shock, and Frost Shock up to 46. Oh. Increased attack power by 54. Chance on spell hit to restore 128 to 172 mana to the bearer? Not bad. So pretty much like... 
Um, I'm getting half of my shocks back. Half of my shock mana back. Oh, we need to get these Mark of Thrall Mars, though. What? That is like, um, Hellfire Peninsula marks? I don't know. Whatever. Duh. That's cool. That's cool. Let's keep on exploring. We got here a little brazier here. Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, who is this? Oh my god, it's a little gnome guy. Is he our slave? Oh no, she's like, <laughs> she's like watching his ass so... Oh, it's a captured gnome. It is the slave. <laughs> <It's> like... <sighs> oh, he's like, greetings. Pleased to meet you. Help me. Hey. hey, buddy. I'm sorry, you know. You're in this really bad situation. I wish I could help you, but this lady does not look like she wants to let you go. It looks like you're gonna have to stick with her, hey, my, my guy. Friend. I'm sorry about that. I would love to help you, though. But I can't. Oh, look at this, guys. We got some more wanted posters. Gosh darn it. Alright, well, let's just do this. Uh, Shadowhunter Dendry uses his board to post important announcements and news of bounties on the foes of Zabrajin. Wanted Boss Grogak. Grogak? Wanted dead or alive, Bros Grogak, overseer of the Angorosh mushroom cutting operation. This brute and his axe wielding cronies are responsible for chopping down the mushrooms to the north of town. Unless he is stopped, he and his band will cut a path to the walls of Zebrajin. He who presents the head of Boss Grogak to the Shadow Hunter to Shadow Hunter Denjai shall be well rewarded. With just gold, I want some items. It's fine, I'll take the quest anyways. Wanted Chieftain Mamaki. Wanted Chieftain Mamaki, leader of the Fallon, degenerate, lost one tribe of the Daggerfin, for his brutal attacks against Zabrajin and its inhabitants. The Chieftain and his band of assassins are responsible for the deaths of numerous scouts and messengers, and should only be approached by seasoned combatants. Travelers are advised to avoid the Daggerfin village area to the northwest of Zabrajin. To claim the, to claim the bounty, present proof of the chieftain's demise to Shadowhunter Denjai. And just gold? Gosh darn it. Wait, there was only- uh, this was the only quest here? No, no, there was another quest, right? Please. <gasps> there is. Oh my god, just one though, brother. Oh, bother. Oh, oh man, this guy is straight dancing, bro. What's good, bro? He's straight chilling. Now, this man's off the shrooms right now, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's let him do his thing. So, unfortunately, there's only one quest here, but it might be enough, hopefully, to level us up. I'm hoping. Please. Uh, Seer ja Janidil. Seer Janidil, please just level me up for me. Alright, let's see what she's got to sell. Oh, we need some Onks. Nice. Let's get some Onks. What is this? Sneak alchemy? Alchemy? I'm gonna, need that. I'm gonna get like. I'm gonna just get 20 onks. Alright, uh, Torgash believes he can see the future in the, uh, in the entrails of birds or by tossing the knuckle bones of his ancestors. Really? All you need to do is ask the spirits. But don't try telling him that, LOV. He's very stubborn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, spirits of the feral fen. The most powerful tribe of the Lost Ones in the marsh, the Feral Fen, are said to possess powerful medicine. There may be no, no truth to such rumors, but anything that might help me channel the spirits of this world cannot be ignored. Find the Fel Faren mystics, hunters, and druids, hello V, and capture their totems. Everything I need to know should be apparent from the carvings. Bring 10 Feral Fen protection totems to Seer Janadil at Zabrajin. Good to meet ya. Okay, I can do that for you, my guy. Oh, so actually, this one isn't even, uh, doesn't even say a group quest. We could maybe do this one, like, um, now, potentially. Uh, let's go to Feral Fen, though, first. Uh, actually, you know what? Which one's closer? I think this one might be closer, right? Uh, the north of town. So, yeah, north of town. Uh, so he probably is over here. Boss Grogak. Hopefully he's not like an elite or anything. We might be able to take him down. Where is he though? It just says north of here. North of the town. Angorosh mushroom cutting operation. So we have to find like Angorosh? Or 
something like that. Oh, Angarash. Oh, wow. Okay, so we discovered a place called the Hoon Bog. Let's just try fighting these guys. This will be pretty cool, right? Oh, shit. He's level 63. Uh-oh. Oh, these guys are a little bit stronger than the guys on the right side of the map. So, just gotta be a little bit more careful here. He's resisting a lot, he's parrying a lot, but we man, we could take him down. Just, uh, he definitely does a lot of damage, but okay, that's that's good to know. Uh, boss Grogag, we might be able to kill him if we pop, like, the strength uh, scroll that we have. And, you know, all our cooldowns, like rage, shamanistic rage, all that good stuff. Uh, let's just, I just want to kind of, I kind of just want to find Grogak. I kind of don't even want to deal with these guys. Even though I feel like that would be pretty good experience. Oh, here he is. Here's Grogak. Alright, we'll just fight this guy right here. So actually, we could just do the uh, quest probably. We could definitely kill him because he's not like an elite or anything. He looks like he's going to hit like a truck though. So I definitely want to clear out the enemies around him first. Like I said earlier in the video. Uh, we got another little homie here approaching, so we're gonna have to deal with him. How many bars are we away? How many bars are we till the next level? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty much six and a half bars till we hit a level up. It's gonna be pretty cool. Alright, so we got this shaman here. Yeah, he finally came to us. Let's go ahead and bring him over to our totems. So our Searing Totem can hit him. Okay. Is our Searing Totem working? Okay, it is working. Alright. A little bit slow there, but it's all good. Alright, let's just start clearing out these guys. Just gonna start with this Ogre here. You no take Mushroom! Alright, let's bring him to our Totems. We get these buffs. And, um, yeah, actually, uh, we're doing a pretty good amount of damage. I can't, I don't really know, like, I can't really tell because I don't have, like, recount up or anything, or, like, a DPS tracker up. But I feel like we're doing more damage, you know. It feels like it. Uh, I wish I could see how much HP he has, but unfortunately we can't. Uh, let's try, I'm just gonna try to kill him without the strength scroll. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna pop the strength scroll. How long does it last for? It lasts for 30 minutes. It's only 12.33 p.m. I have to go to work again today, boys. So. Oh my god, this is the perfect spot to fight him. I'm just like, keep it, sorry, but I'm just keeping track of time, making sure I have enough time to like, do a bunch of stuff or whatever I want to do. Um, oh yeah, this guy is super easy. Wow, this guy is not even like, anything serious. The other guy probably is maybe an elite, I'm assuming. He's probably going to be pretty tough. Oh wow, okay, he's dead now. Alright, let's take his head. So cool! That was really cool. Are there any chests here? Maybe? Like, any, like, uh, rewards or something? Let's just fight this guy. It'll be fun. Let's go. Uh, yeah. We're getting close, though. Six bars away from leveling up. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get it from... Finishing these two quests, maybe like three quests. Oh shit! Oh my god, I almost died. But yeah, I hope that we can uh, once we complete the wanted quest and the feral fen quest will be level 61. So quests will start opening up at the refuge again. I'm hoping because bruh, we are going to be just like a freaking sitting duck. We don't have any quests to do. Then I'm gonna have to go back to Hellfire. And then I'm gonna be so sad. Alright, but that wasn't bad, guys. That was not bad at all. I was a little bit scared because there was only a wanted poster quest and then one other quest besides that. But we managed to do it. We managed to do the wanted poster quest. Just one of them. I'm not even gonna even attempt the second one because I already know I'm gonna get my booty cheese clap. Pause. But you already know, man. I'm not that. I mean, we're a freaking shaman, guys. We're freaking strong. We're not that strong. Um, well, I mean, we're strong, but it's like... Uh, that is subjective, you know? 
Alright, uh, let's just go ahead, since we're already at the village, let's just go ahead and turn in the quest for Boss Grogak. It looks like we have to go inside the inn here. Let's go ahead and talk to, who do we gotta talk to? Looks like somebody upstairs. And yeah, nice. So who is this guy? Oh, it's Shadowhunter Dendry. What's up, What's guy? On your mind? All right. What do you have there, Hello B? I have this guy's head. Well done, Hello B. The presence of these ogres so close to our outpost does me does does have me worried, though. It seems like they've been filtering uh filtering down from the northern mountains for some time. Okay, so it looks like the ogres came from Blades Edge Mountain, migrated over to Zangermarsh. Stay away from them. And it looks like they're a little bit rude. So we got to deal with those guys, for sure, for sure. All right. Oh my God, I might take another nap before work. I mean, I'm, I think I have the time. I might have to. If I take a nap, I might have to end this video sooner. Cause Loki, I'm feeling it in my eyes right now. I could definitely take. I could definitely go for like another hour. Okay, how much experience did that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, that barely gave us any experience, guys. So we're definitely actually... Count Ungala. What the heck? That looks pretty cool. So we're definitely going to have to just grind a little bit before we... Um, before we turn in the quest. I want to grind until like I'm maybe like two bars away from leveling up and then we should probably hit that level so i might stay at feral fin for a hot minute even though i'm already done the quest just so i can you know get that xp what is this it's like a summoning circle of like a mushroom bro what the fuck i don't even, I don't even know i don't even want to know what's happening there i don't even know want to know who did that i got nothing all right just leave me alone but from the looks of it, it looks like they're trying to summon like a mushroom demon or something. Like, it's like some Ouija board type shit. I don't even know. Uh, okay, so we got to take totems from these guys. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and chain lightning you. Get out of here, you freaking. Yeah, let's kill the pet first. And we have to kill these feral fins and get some totems from them. Oh no. He ensnared me, that rat bastard. Alright. Um, druids. Oh, I actually don't think we have to kill hunters, right? Oh, we actually, oh, we can kill hunters. Okay, that's fine. Let's kill the hunters then. The hunters are a little bit annoying because, you know, they shoot the little bows and arrows and shit. Let's go ahead and kill his little spore bat thing. Go ahead and light his ass up. Oh, oh, what the? This guy turned to a bird, bro. What the fuck? Let me pop my rage here because we are fighting another guy. Someone invited me to a guild that does um, Karazhan. That's pretty. That's pretty good. I'm gonna hold off on guild invites though until I'm max level because I kind of just want to like low key. I kind of want to play WoW as like a single player game. I'm not even gonna lie here. Um, I'm gonna purge off that thing. Wow, that's cool. These guys could be druids though. That's really cool. Can you die already? Okay, he's dead. Oh, no totem. But yeah, I really want to do like the dungeons and the raids. I'm not going to post um, dungeon and raiding content. The WoW videos are strictly just leveling series. And if I do do dungeons to get levels, then that's when I'll include dungeons. But most of the times I'm just questing. Um, but raids and stuff, I'm probably not going to upload onto the tube skis. Oh shit. I was about to just YOLO run in there and just like farm those guys, but there's three of them, so I'm Gucci with that. Totem, drop me a totem. Oh, we got one. Nice, nice. How much experience do we get for each of those? Um, I have to kill one again to find out. Do we have our rage back? We almost have our rage back. I'm gonna hopefully see if we can kite just one of these guys. Nice, we did. 
Nice, nice, nice. Let's Storm Strike into Earth Shock. Yes, sir. We stopped his regrowth, which is pretty cool. Oh, another totem here. Oh, what the? Oh, come on. See, I destroyed my totem. You bastard. I guess we'll just switch targets since we landed that crit off on this guy. Alright, just die real quick. I'm gonna pop a heal ski. So I'm actually gonna pop two. Alright, let's go on to this guy now. Oh no, he's gonna cast his regrowth. Oh man, he was like 1 HP, dude. How unlucky. Okay, nice. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, hold on guys. I'm not even trolling. I'm literally like so tired. I went to sleep at like um like 4 basically 5 a.m. Oh, a chest. <laughs> and I woke up at 11 cuz like my body is used to waking up a little bit early. So I'm dead ass about to just like lay on my bed for like a solid like 5 minutes, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, what the fuck? Let's explore the rest of this building though before we do that because I feel like that'll be fun. Oh come on, just cast the chain lightning already, you freaking slow poke. You freaking slow poke! Get out of here. Oh, and if we kill the tr uh, the hunter, the pet dies. Oh, actually, that's pretty cool. And I guess that makes sense. Who's up here? We have a druid. We have three druids. All right, you know what? This one, I'm just gonna full on YOLO this one. This one's gonna be fun. This one's gonna be a fun one, guys. All right, I'm doing it for the YouTube vids. Okay, so we're about five bars away from leveling up. Definitely not enough experience if we just complete this one quest. So, like I said earlier, we're probably just gonna have to train here. Oh shit. Oh wait, there's only two up here. I thought there was three. Sorry about that, guys. I am a little bit blind, as you guys can tell by my glasses. Oh shit, we're about to die. Oh, there are three. Oh wait, what the? This guy just glitched out of that. Oh, wait, what was this guy doing, bro? Oh, let me just interrupt his regrowth. Okay, nice. Oh, stop hitting my totems, dude. Chill. Oh no, what are you doing, dude? What are you... Man, can you stop hitting my totems, bro? That's so rude of you. I summoned those just so they could own you, and he... You wanna destroy them? Are you kidding me? Okay, I really have to go rest my eyes real quick. If I don't, I'm literally about to just pass out, like, standing up type shit. So let me go somewhere safe. I feel like this is safe. I am in my underwear right now, so... I would show you guys my booty cheeks, but I feel like I might get banned, so it's not happening. But, um, I'm gonna go lay on my bed for like five minutes. Holy, my eyes need to rest. She. All right, guys, I'm back. Holy, I ended up uh, closing my eyes for a couple minutes, and that turned into like, sheesh. I want to say like maybe like I don't know how long I was asleep for, like 30 minutes. It wasn't even that long, but I freaking passed out, dude. I did that thing where I was constantly thinking, so I didn't really fall asleep. I was kind of just like half asleep. Because if I fell asleep fully, oh my gosh, this video would have not have been made today or finished today. But sorry about that, guys. We're back, and we're back here at the Feralfen Village. Oh no, he's gonna get his refresh off. Yeah, we're back at the Feralfen Village. We still have a, a bunch of more totems to collect, so we gotta definitely do that. We only have three right now. Oh, now we have four. Cool. So yeah, let's do that. Let me go ahead and heal up real quick. Alright, we could take on two of these guys, I feel like. I'm gonna attack you, and I'm gonna attack you. We'll focus on this guy first, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna pop my rage here. 
Seems like a decent time to do it. We'll, we have to make sure we interrupt his regrowth, because that's... It's going to be pretty annoying to deal with his heal. Alright, so one's down. Stop his regrowth. Oh, big damage. Oh, and a totem. Nice. Oh, and another totem. Cool. Nice, guys. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's kill this hunter here. Just freaking swoop on his ass like Batman, for real. Catch him with the element of surprise. Alright, cool. Oh, what the? I thought when his... Oh, okay. I thought when he dies, his pet dies too, but looks like he didn't. I mean, his pet was like one-shotable, so... I guess that's pretty much dead, but... Okay, that's cool. So we're actually at a seven... We're at seven out of ten totems. But I feel like by the time we uh, complete this quest and we get all the totems, I really feel as if... Um, I feel as if... Oh, shit. We might die here. I feel as if we're not gonna get um, enough level or enough experience to level up. Excuse me, guys. So I'm gonna chill here for just a little bit, actually, at, even after we complete the quest, just so I can get that extra. Oh god, we're about to die. Um... Wait, wait, wait! I'm dead. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that was not good. Uh, we'll reincarnate. Oh shit, we didn't reincarnate with a lot of health. Alright, let's pull this guy actually away from that other dude. Cause that guy got me by surprise, for sure. Oh, we can't cancel his regrowth, which kinda stinks. I don't even know if we do enough damage to out damage his regrowth. Yo, chill. Oh my god. That clutch bandage at the end literally saved our booty cheeks. Woo! Guys, oh my god. I'm underestimating these guys. Sheesh, they're pretty strong. And I guess I just woke up, kind of, but that is no excuse. Okay, guys. We must be on demon time 24-7. Alright, sorry guys. Cringe, cringe. I don't know <clears throat> I don't know what to say half the times in these half the times in these videos. I'm just saying fucking whatever is on my mind. And that was what you guys got. I'm sorry for the cringe, okay guys. I'll try to be less cringe. No promises though. But I will try. Oh wow, we're finding a lot of the totems now. It's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Alright. Uh, here, I'm going to pop my rage. Oh my god, he re this guy just resisted, like, both my shots, bro. Chill, bro. I'm gonna take this time to pop a big heal, cause I mean, our, we have like, no cooldowns. Oh my god, these guys attack so fast, can you chill out bro? Okay, first one's dying. Oh my god, that one was so strong. Yo, chill, homie! Jeez Louise, bro. Needs to settle down. My guy needs to settle down. Alright, he's almost dead though. Oh, that annoying regrowth, dude. I'm gonna purge his regrowth off. It's... I don't wanna have to deal with that. Okay, cool. We almost died there again. Sheesh, if we didn't have that, um. Uh, ancestral rage or shamanistic rage, it would have definitely been in a sticky situation. Excuse me. Okay, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, we just got one more totem we need, and then after that, I'm just gonna, like, I need to just, like, grind. I need to at least grind, like, three more bars. Because we're only getting about, like, 10,000 experience per qu finished quest. So, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of experience to level up here. 
I'm talking enormous amounts, guys. Let's check out this place, though. The Feral Fen Village. This place looks pretty cool. So it's like they're, uh... They're like, um... Capital Town or something. I don't even know. Looks pretty cool, though. Bohamu... Oh, this is the Bohamu Ruins. Oh, cool. So it looks like it's a couple of ruins here. Away from the cast is Lightning Bolt again. There we go. So we can interrupt it. Oh, nice. And we got a thousand experience just for exploring the place. That is pretty nice. Oh, I need to see how much experience we get from each of these guys. That's what I forgot to find. So once we kill this guy, let me see how much experience we get. One thousand one hundred seventy-six. Okay, that's not bad actually. So if we kill ten of them, it's pretty much like completing a quest. So it's not bad. So we have a druid. We've double druids again. Okay, we want to make sure we're full HP, full mana. Do we have any more food on us? We ran out of food, I think. Oh no, we have these stalks here actually. Yeah, let's use these things. Oh wait, we actually can use the uh, ravager dog that um our buddy Jinju gave us. Um, but I'm just gonna save it. We already, you already, we already used the freaking health potions or whatever. Who's here? Elder Karudi. Oh shit, it's an elite guy. All right, let's pop our rage here. Let me just hit him with a flame strike right off the bat, just to help me do some more DPS keys. Uh, we didn't even need to um, use our Earth Shock on that guy because he just died. So I mean, that's pretty cool. Probably gonna have to use it on this guy. Oh no, just kidding. This guy just died as well. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, okay, we found the last protection totem. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh god, he's level 63. He is alone, however, so uh, we probably can't fight him though, because we don't have our cooldowns. Oof, that's a bit unlucky. Let's just see how much damage he hits this for. Popping a chain light. 470 regular, 570 regular with no crits. Oh boy. Wait, my Stone Claw's totem stuns them? Enemies attacking the Stone Claw totem have a 50% chance to be stunned? Wait, am I dead? Okay, I'm not. Okay, well, yeah, we're not gonna fight this guy. This guy does regular, his regular autos do. Uh, 400 to 500 damage without a crit. With a crit, I don't even want to know what that damage is going to be. So, let's just avoid him for now. Um, I said I was going to stay here and train a little bit, but we could train on the ogres, because these guys are like... These guys are a little bit weaker. I feel like we'll get more experience from the ogres. We can actually um, do a little experiment to see how much experience the ogres drop. So these guys give us about like a thousand, a thousand two hundred experience per kill. We can go find out to see uh, the experience per kill on the ogres. Just give me one moment. We have to travel back to Zabrajin and then to the north of there. But I want to turn in this quest first. See where we're at after this. All right, we're back at Zabrajin. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Seer Janidal and then let's turn in the quest. See how much experience we get. We're probably not gonna get like a good amount, uh, not enough to get us like even halfway to the next level, but it'll still be some good experience. Have you gathered those totems? I have, Milady. Hmm. They seem to be divided between images of a serpent spirit and a bird spirit. No self-respecting dark spirit troll engages in bird worship. Their spirits are weak, capricious, and best left to the Amani. But the serpent, Hillaby, the serpent wields considerable power, and this is the spirit I shall study. Alright, you crazy lady, just do whatever you want to do. Alright, let's see how much experience we get. Oof, almost a bar. We almost got, we got like half a bar from that. It's not bad. But she gives us another quest, so it's, that's actually pretty good. A spirit ally? We must find out how much power this Ferrofin snake spirit possesses, and whether it can be bent to our will. Imagine what I could do with the powers of an outland spirit at my command. 
Take this totem with you and make your way to the foot of the stairs leading to the Bohamu ruins. Plant the totem in the ground and it should do the rest. The spirit should not be able to tell who has used the totem until it is manifested. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Take the feral fin totem to the foot of the stairs of the Bohamu ruins and plant it in the ground. Report your findings to Sir Janidal at Zybergen. Trinket. Increased damage and healing done by magic spells and effect by up to 26%. Use increased magic, uh, increased damage and healing done by magical spell. Eh. I'm gonna take this cape though. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Now. bye, bye. How much experience do we get from that? Oh, I don't, I don't like how it doesn't show you the. Oh, it does show you the experience gain. Ten thousand. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little test on the ogres just to see, you know, who gives more experience. Maybe they give the same. That is going to, um, in figuring out, you know, who gives more experience, um, is gonna let us know where we're going to be grinding for this last bit of experience that we need to level up. So let's go ahead and figure that out. So we have ourselves a level six. Let's go for the level 63 guy. Let's see how much the level 63 dude gives us. It's gonna summon all my totems, make it hard for him, you know. Okay, so that uh, one dark, uh, the fell feral fen guy gave us 1,176. Let's see how much he gives me. 1,230. So they do yield more experience. That is good to know. Alright, but we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back over here to the feral fen village. We're gonna go to the Bohamu ruins. And all we gotta do is just plant like a totem there and see what happens. Hopefully nothing crazy happens and we do not die because that would be very sad. I'm like assuming like maybe like a boss pops up out of there but I don't even know boys. Let's find out though. Alright, um, and as we speak, uh, one of my videos actually just finished uploading, and guys, I mentioned this in my last video, um, but if you guys didn't watch that, uh, I suggest you guys go watch it, if not, I'll just explain it again, but pretty much, um, my uploading schedule is going to be not as frequent as it, um, used to be. And that is because I am picking up a couple of jobs here and there, so my summer is going to be pretty busy. But once summer is over, I should be back to like regular, regular daily uploads. And I'm not going to like, you know, completely, you know, not like stop YouTube while I'm working. You know, I'm still gonna upload videos here and there. I'm just letting you guys know that it's gonna be less frequent because. I am going to be working my booty cheeks off. So yeah guys, that's pretty much what the plan or what the deal is. So if you guys are like uh, wondering where the videos are at, that is probably the reason why. So just a little heads up. And I always and I always forget to mention this in the beginning of the video guys, so it's kind of be this is a little bit late, but you know, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys a bunch. I would appreciate it a lot. Who in the god's name? Oh my god, we're fighting him. Wait, 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 yo, yo, yo. Wait, what? Okay, well, we're fighting this little uh, cloud serpent spirit thing. Oh no, he resisted. Feral fence serpent spirit. Okay, that's. Pretty cool, I guess. Okay, we just need to land our shock, please. Oh my god, this guy dodged three shocks in a row? Uh, Blizzard. Really? He dodged three shocks in a row? Okay, thank you. He got hit by that one. This guy's resistance is freaking sky high, dude. Okay. Alright, so we did have to fight a little boss guy. You know what, I'm gonna actually just clear out these guys because this is gonna give me uh, another bar. It's gonna complete the bar here, so... You know what, screw it. We're just gonna fight these guys. We're here anyways, right? You know, might as well. Am I right? Am I right? Or am I wrong? I'm right, I'm right. I'm right! <clears throat> 
Alright, surely Mr. Mystic here is going to give me the, the last bit of experience I need to fill up this juicy little bar. And we can go back to Vabrigin or Jabrazin, Zabrigin Village, and um, turn into quest. Alright, let's do it, guys. And yeah, we pretty much filled up the bar. It's like just a tiny bit off, but. Okay, guys, we're doing good. We got four, four bars away from leveling up. We're definitely not going to level up from turning in this quest, I don't believe. Unless it gives us, like, a bunch of experience, but... Um, uh, it might, it honestly, it might give us uh, a, a bunch of experience because it was kind of like a mini-boss kind of thing. So, we'll see. Normally, the quests get, uh, here give around 10,000 experience. Let's see what happens when we turn this guy in. Zabrogen is a bit of a walk away, so I'm just going to edit this part out. Alright guys, let's go talk to Janadil again. Or Janidi. Alright, turn this in. Were you able to summon the Feral Fen Spirit? I was, and he was strong. You tell Sir Janidi about what happened when you used the totem. The spirit attacked you. It must have a, a higher affinity for those lost ones then, I thought. Uh, there's no way to compel it to serve me without expending considerable effort. I'll have to search for a new source of power in this wretched world. Alright, you do that, and just give me your dang cape. So this is actually an insane buff again. Dude, look at our, look at our cape, bro. Level 39 cape? Sheesh! That is going to be a good replacement there. Okay, it gave us 10,000 experience. It gave us, I think, like 500 more than the other quest, but... This cape, though, is gonna be very nice. Where is it? Okay, it's right here. Let me check out the damage difference. 243, 335, 247, 339. That's pretty good. Alright, yeah, uh, we're... We're only... We're, that, that didn't really give us enough experience we needed to, you know, level up. What you want. So let's just do it the old-fashioned way, guys. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. It's going to be a little bit painful. But you know, it's going to be alright, guys. That's It's fine. I'm not, I'm not going back to Hellfire Peninsula. I already said this a million times. I'm not going back. We're staying here! Okay. So let's just farm. Let's farm, boys. Let's farm some minions. Let's farm some minions. Alright, Mr. Ogre. It's time to die. Mwahahaha. Alright, sorry guys. I got a, so I don't know what came over me there. It's a little bit uncharacteristic of me. Don't know what happened there. Alright, Mr. Ogre guy. Time to meet your maker, the ogre god in the sky. Oh shit, he enrages. Oh shit. Alright. Um, wowza. We have to like full heal after that. Sheesh. It's good that we're uh, um, getting. It's good that we're rested too, because we're getting because we're getting double experience. So it's gonna make this a lot more easier. A lot easier, me friends. Okay, let's go for the next ogre here. What's up, buddy? I know you're doing your job, you know, collecting firewood for your homies, but I'm sorry, I gotta end that quick. Because you are on the menu for tonight. We are eating ogre lamb chops. It's going to be awesome. Okay, maybe that was, um... Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I exposed myself. But it's fine, guys. It's too late. It's too late. I'm not editing this part out. Alright. I have a... Certain palette for ogre meat. Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, guys. Okay. I'm just playing a video game. It's not that serious. Alright, Mr. Ogre Guy. Let's go. So it's 1:52 p.m. right now. Uh, I'll probably stop. Pl I'll probably stop training at like 2:30 around that time, just so I can like brush my teeth, head to the nearest Chipotle, and eat me some food, and then go to work. 
So we got some time though, we got some time. Probably like train for like, eh, like 20, 30 minutes. Man, I really wish there was another quest we could pick up. We just need to pick up like one quest, bro. Uh, let me uh, check something real quick. I wanna check the Zangor Marsh map. God damn. I wanna check the Zangor Marsh map. A fully explored one. We could check out Sporgar and see if there are any quests there. Let's do that, guys, because training and just just training, it's like, it's fun. I think it is fun. Like I do, I do, I don't, I don't mind, you know, just like you know, mindless training or whatever. But for the video, it's probably not going to be that good. So let's try to find like some quests we can do. I feel like that would be a lot more fun and engaging as opposed to just like you know, smacking monsters. Um, so let's go to Sporagar and let's see if maybe there's some quests that we can get there that can, you know, help us get that extra boost we need to level up. If not, we're just, I'm just gonna go back to training. I'll probably just edit, you know, a lot of that. That'll probably be like a heavily edited segment within the video. So, let's go to Sporagar. Hopefully, my Sporlocks. My Sporlock homies will provide us with a quest. That would be very, very nice. Marsh Light Lake. Oh, and also we're getting experience for exploring places too. Oh shit, we went in the water. So that's also a plus for just, you know, getting out there in the world and doing your exploring. Doing your Dora the Exploring. What is this? Is this a hat? Oh no, it's Sporagar. Okay. Wow, this place looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is literally like the Smurf people. Whoa, look at this guy. Four. 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 Oh, we have some guy we could talk to. Mr. Hachu. Hachu. Oh, and they have a quartermaster here. Wow. That is pretty neat. Oh, shit. This guy's getting down with this guy. Should we help him? I guess we should. I will right, help you out. Get off my friend! Back off, four. He's a nice guy. What the? No, 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 don't use that on me. Okay, yeah. Hey, oh, we got the squad pulling up. Hell yeah, boys. Thanks, guys. Nice, yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. All right, there are no quests here. I'm Sag. I'm lonely. I wish that there were more kids my age around here. Sometimes I miss being at the orphanage in Shatter City. Oh yeah, and there's an orphanage in Shatter City. I forgot. So, alright guys, unfortunately, there are no, um, quests here in Sporagar. So what I'm gonna do here, instead of killing the ogres, uh, so we can, you know, instead of, you know, doing just regular gaining experience, let's knock out two birds with one stone, and let's go head over here, uh, what's this place called? The Swamping Glen, and let's go and fight the monsters here. Because if we fight the monsters here, it's going to increase our reputation with the spore locks. And it's going to be good because we're going to be able to, you know, um, uh, get the items from them. You know, maybe pick up some quests from them. They have a quartermaster. Could be, you know, important, I guess. These guys are pretty high level though. 63, 65. There are like no level 62s here. So I'm kind of a little bit scared. But I think we could do it. How much do they hit me for? It hit me for about 159, 200 damage crits. Not bad, not the worst. Definitely uh, killable. But yeah, we're gonna get reputation for killing these guys, so it's gonna be good. How much experience do we get from you? 1,230 and 15 reputation. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's use this bandage, actually. Uh, let me ch uh, check out the Sporagar. So we need a bunch. I'm gonna just uh, move to the show as experience bar. Yeah, let's do that. Let's swap out Thunder Bluff for now. Um, okay. Oh, wow. We used our bandage already, and it, it didn't really heal us too well. Uh, this guy's level 64. Let's try to find the level 63, guys. Oh, we can fight. Oh, my God. He one-shot the Sporlock, dude. I was about to say we could help him out. But sheesh. My man says, screw you. I'm about to just one-hit one hit KO your bitch ass. Oh, we can actually, let's use the uh, Ravager dogs here. It's gonna be pretty good. Um, and it's good because it, it lasts for 30 minutes. I feel like by that time, 
you know, that would be a good time to end the video. Um, so yeah, it'll probably all work out in the end. So attack power and spirit increase, that's pretty good. It's gonna help us clear these guys a lot faster. Alright, Mr. Fungal Giant, it is time to die. Alright, cool. Yeah, he's at already 50% life already. 35%, that's good. Alright, nice. Very nice. Mode of Lifes, these are probably going to be good uh, to sell in the auction house, I think, I hope. What is this? Nature damage every 3 seconds, movement speed reduced by 10%, uh, becomes a powerful wound at 5 stacks. Oh, okay, so we have to watch out for the stacks on those things. Make sure that they're off of us before we move on to the next guy. Uh, let's just go ahead and fight this guy. I want to fight the level 64 guy soon. See how much experience we get from him. Shit, I think I'm hitting my mic. I need like one of those like little um little lever things or whatever. So I can like adjust my mic. Because right now it's just like sitting on my desk and it kinda gets gets in the way. Sometimes I hit it with my hands. Um we're at two stacks. Screw it. I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit. Uh oh, that's a resist. I wanna make sure I at least chunk him down a little bit. Okay, nice. Alright, what are we doing here? What are we doing? We're missing a lot of things. That's what's happening. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, level 64 guy is a little bit tough though. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, we have to pop our rage here. We have to pop our shamanistic rage. There's no way we are going to beat this guy. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Okay, we can do this. We're at two stacks. Oh, oh, we're at three stacks. I'm kind of scared. I am low-key kind of scared. Okay, I just popped a mana potion. Oh my god, he's parrying. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, can you die, please? Can you just die? Holy... Oh, okay, this is what it turns into. Oh, oh my god, it, it one-shot us! Oh! Bro! Okay, so we cannot have that thing. Sheesh! The walk is a freaking hike, bro. That is a journey in itself, my guy. Okay, guys. Wow. Oh, no! We wasted our Ravager dog. No! Oh, no! We wasted our Ravager dog, bro. That makes me a little sad, not gonna lie. Uh, it's fine, we'll just avoid the level uh, 64 guys. I think that seems like a solid plan. Because those guys are scary. And we do not kill them fast enough. Uh, uh, I need to, this makes me want to uh, start doing professions again. I need to start increasing my professions and shit. I'm gonna have like a video of just me leveling up my profession, so we have to do the first aid. I actually have to um, find the first aid trainer. Let me actually figure out how to do that now. So we, we gotta do first aid. Our mining and our uh, blacksmithing is a little bit low um, because the, um, the mines that we need are a little bit hard to get and they're expensive in the auction house, so I can't just like, you know, buy a bunch of them, so. I'm gonna do a professions video soon, guys. Uh, maybe after we're done with Zangermarsh, I'll head back to Ogremar because we gotta stop. I gotta stop by the bank. I think there's a bank in Shathor City, though. But either way, we have to go back to Azeroth because we can't even mine the mines here. Uh, we could probably do like some first aid things here in Outlands, but I need to first of all get the next uh, training. But yeah, guys, profession video coming soon. Oh my god, that scared me. I think it just like popped up out of nowhere. Oh, this is a dead guy we killed. Um, oh, wait, wait, what? There's... Wait, someone's here farming these things. What the heck? Oh, let's take this mode of life. Nice. 
So, so oh, oh, whoa, starving bog lord. That guy looks different. We gotta make maybe you know avoid that guy. Uh, we need to find level 63 um, giants because the other guys are scary. And I don't want to deal with them. Alright, come on, guys. That was, like, the greatest song ever. I just freestyled that in my head. Like, bro, come on, bro. Tell me that was not the greatest song. Like, you would like you would be bumping to that-ish all summer long. Like, come on, bro. Tell me. Tell me that is not the greatest song, bro. Like, that shit is so fire. Uh, should we just fight this little thingy right here? Oh, it's level 64, though. Man, where are the level 63 giants? 64... I feel like if we keep killing all the 63s, there's not gonna be any left, feel me. Oh shit, I thought these guys were fighting each other. Sheesh! There are a lot of them here. Oh, there's two level 63s there, but they're all, like, ganged up, you know? Man, that guy looks pretty enticing to fight because he's alone, but I know I'm gonna get my no I know I'm gonna get clapped fighting this dude, so I don't even wanna risk it. Oh there's a level 63 guy right here. I guess we'll just fight you. Okay. Oh no, big resist. I don't like that. Come on. Yes. Whoa, 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 what the Yo, chill, bro. Where did this guy come from, bro? What in God's name, bro? What the fuck? Oh, come on, man. This guy's dodging like crazy, bro. Oh, shit. No, we're running. I'm running. I'm sorry, but you are going to kill me. Oh, my God. Dude, the choking vi- Bro, where did that guy come from, dude? That dude came from fucking Narnia, bro. I literally just, like, turned around and I was like, okay, he's not gonna come fight me. And then, next thing I know, he's fucking fighting me. Come on, man. Whoa, what the heck? Look, if, uh, I'm my camera's blocking the chat, but, um... Someone, an NPC yelled out... His name is Fasin. If I pronounce that correctly, it's, it's spelled F-A-S... Or F-A-H-S-S-N... And he says, the Bog Lords are attacking. Help us. So maybe there is a questy poo there that we can get. Maybe not, though, because we're a little bit low level. But I guess that's good to know for the future when we do level up. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, we're walking back. Sorry, guys. Uh, I did not expect that guy to freaking gank my ass. But you know what? It's wild, guys. It happened. That happens. That kind of thing happens all the time. All the time, guys. It happens all the time. Alright, boys, we're back. Let's, uh, you know, maneuver a little bit more strategically. We gotta make sure our back is covered, because then we're gonna have some freaking uninvited guests trying to freaking own us, man, and that's not cool. Alright, I don't like getting owned. I like to do the owning. Alright, guys. So let's show this guy who's the boss who's the daddy oh my god what the hell this thing's just like farted did you guys see that this little like egg sack or fungus sack just farted excuse you all right you little nasty you little nasty all right bring that ass here Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Big dam there. We got some big dam. I'm going to kite you over here because that guy is walking towards me. Oh, what the? This guy's walking a little bit too close to me. Yo, ch oh, oh. And we got another guy here. Oh, yo. Yo, chill, 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 guys. Chill, guys. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Why is he getting so close to me? Can you relax, please? I'm sorry. Oh my god, oh my god, please get away from me. Okay. Okay, we managed to avoid him. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Run! No! My friend. He is dead. Oh no. Okay, that guy's still screaming out again, the Fossin guy, but I'm not seeing him anywhere. 
These are level 64s. Let's avoid these guys. So, nice guys. We're three bars away from hitting level 61. Definitely a doable accomplishment here. No! Why? You dirty little bastard! You hurt my friends? That means I hurt you. Oh, okay. I don't want to aggro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta zoom out up in this bitch. Cause fucking motherfuckers popped up northeast, southwest, fucking west, 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 southeast. Man, they're popping up everywhere. Jesus Christ, bro. Gotta be careful. Gotta make sure we all the way zoomed out. Alright, let's fight this guy. He looks like he's alone and vulnerable, aka we're going to own him very hard. Um, I'll pop me a little bandy here. We need to find the guy screaming for help. He said, somebody help. Our young are in peril. Uh, maybe I should move my camera, but no, nah, it's fine, guys. It's fine. There's not... I'm, I don't even want... I don't, there's not much going on in the chat anyway, so... It's fine. I'll just... I can, and if, those, if there is important things that are being said, I'm reading them out loud for you guys, you know? So I got you, fam. Got you guys. Oh my god, he's resisting so much. Please. Please, just die, please, Mr. Fungal Guy. Nice. Okay. Um, let me heal up. Oh no, we're running low on potions. Uh, thankfully, Zabrogen's not too far away. So we can go ahead and pick up some more pots. Excuse me. Yeah, like, these totems, bro, are so useless, dog. Like, Windwall Totem? What is this? The totem protects party members within 20 yards, reducing range damage taken by 32? Like, they couldn't have thought of a better idea? Like, these are cool. Like, the Fire Resistance Totem, Frost Resistance, these are cool. These are useful. They have their own, like, like niche uses and stuff. But, like, Windwall Totem? Like, what? And we got Nature Resist Totem, which, you know, it's useful, I guess, in raids. Other than, I mean, other than, um, raids, these are pretty useless, too, you know. Um, Flame Tongue, to Flame Tongue Totem, I mean, pretty useless. Sentry Totem, also very useless. Tranquil Air Totem, not so useless in raids, because if you're, um... If your DPS is like, you know, pulling too much threat, this will help reduce the threat. So, I mean, it, that's actually pretty, it's actually a pretty good, um, totem for raids, but it's not good for, like, just regular in-the-world questing, you know? Like, there's not that many totems that are, like, very strong when it comes to, um, you know, questing in the world. The only thing I would say that's, like, really strong, that's, like, a key totem to use is, like, your Searing Totem, but then again, that's not even, like, really strong. It's just, like, decent, you know? It's an extra source of, like, damage. It's not as strong as a pet, though, you know? Oh, our inventory's full. Sheesh. Um... Oh my god, yeah, I need to stop by a bank, bro. Golly. Man, I'm gonna just have to drop this mithril box, for real. Man, yeah, I needed to drop those off in my bank. God damn. Level 63? Ooh, it is. Alright, where's Fossen? I'm trying to help my boy Fossen out, but I don't know where he is. Oh, shit. You're chill, bro. These guys are ruthless, dog. What the hell? What are these? Golly, bro. I didn't even look up here. It's a freaking big-ass mushroom with that shit on it, too, bro. God damn. Alright, guys. Go ahead and fight this dude here. This guy's a level 64 guy. So I'm probably just gonna avoid him. Alright, let's go ahead and fight this guy. Oh no, he double resisted. He resisted my Storm Strike and my Flame sh uh, Shock. That is. Oh, he resisted it again. Bro, chill, bro. It's not that serious, dude. Go down already! Alright, nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I mean, we're making progress, I guess. Dude, if we just had, like, one quest, we would probably 
get that level up. Oh my god, I'm so tempted to just stop by Hellfire Peninsula, but no. I will not ever step back into that place ever again. Alright. You will not convince me. Sheesh, my guy. My man's over here ruthless. You don't give a fuck about any of these guys, bro. It doesn't have to be like that, Mr. Fungal Giant. It doesn't have to even be like that, bro. But if you want to do that, fine. So be it. I will end your life then. Alright, cringe, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm being cringe, alright? I need to relax. I'm RPing a little too hard, but I mean... I need, like, my, the way I see it is, you know, I want to be, like, talking as much as possible and, like, and being entertaining because every single time I'm not talking, it's just, like, it's just, like, boring, I feel like. So I want to make sure I'm, like, consistently talking and shit, you know, trying to say things that are entertaining. Maybe they might not be entertaining, but sheesh, like, I gotta try at least, like. You know, can you guys knock me for trying? Like, I'm at least just trying, man. Come on, guys. Cut me some slack, alright. What is this? Alright, whatever. I don't want that. Uh, level 63, dude. We can fight him. Um, bro. I'm about to just, like, go back to, um... I'm about to go back to the Cenarian Refuge, for real. I don't even care if there are any quests there. Uh, we're gonna go back to Cenarian Refuge, go down here, and fight the guys there. Because... They're gonna also increase our rep with Spore Garden. These guys are a little bit hard. They take a lot of resources from me. Which is, like, fine, I guess. You know, it's not, like, the end of the world. We could definitely, like, farm these guys. But we farm them pretty slow. I feel like we'll be able to farm these guys a lot faster. Which, in turn, will give us more XP, I feel like. Over time. Yeah, we'll probably stop there, stop by there for, like, a little bit. And then I'll train there for just, like, a little bit. And then um, I'll probably end the video, because... It's uh, approaching that time for me to go to work. But tomorrow, guys, is my off day. So I'm just going to be, you know, playing WoW uh, tomorrow the whole day. So you can expect, like, a longer video then. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be pretty good if you guys were, you know, if you guys were enjoying the WoW videos. And, yeah, and, you know, like, and a lot of you guys have been enjoying the WoW videos. So I'm trying, like, to do whatever I can to, like, make it at least a fun watch. Because if I'm, like, not talking the entire time, bro, like... Y'all are gonna click off instantaneously, bro. I have to be, like, a, at least a little bit entertaining, like, or else, like, I mean, like, person, because, like, personally for me, if I was to just watch, like, like, a leveling series, like, I would want to be entertained while watching it. I don't, I don't want to just watch, you know, no dialogue, you know, just someone, you know, doing, leveling up in World of Warcraft, like, no, that's gonna be so painful to watch, like, I'm, I would have to pass on that, so. If I will pass, if I'm gonna pass on watching a wild leveling series, then surely you guys will too, so I'm trying to make it so you guys stay and watch the vids, you feel me? Oh, someone's looking for a healer for slay pens in the underbog, but I am not a healer. I'm a DPS. We're a DPS Andy all day. Quag Ridge. Oh my god. Unstable Shroom. What the heck is this? Wow. We have more giants though, but I'm not gonna fight these. Oh, Bog Lord. Wow, that guy looks pretty cool. Uh, where am I going? I just wanted to explore this place. Well, we did get experience too for exploring it. That's, I, I, that's actually super key. Uh, right now. Uh, is there anywhere else we can explore? We can explore here and here for 2,000 experience, but I don't feel like doing it. So it looks like we have a little hordy guy there. Um, doing some quests, probably. That's cool, that's cool. I got nothing against the Alliance either, guys. I love the Alliance and I love the Horde, alright? I'm not one of those weirdos who are like for the horde only like no alliance you know like no my first character ever if you guys watch my videos and if you guys don't make sure you guys watch my videos i explained 
that my first ever character in WoW Classic, I mean, original WoW, uh, WoW Vanilla, whatever you call it, was a gnome rogue. I love me, my gnomes. However, gnomes can't be druids. If they could, I would have definitely be uh, became a, a gnome druid, but... For my Wrath of the Lich King video, <laughs> I freaking got off topic, but yeah, so for my Wrath of the Lich King video, I'm gonna play Alliance, so... Because, I mean, I can be a... Um... Torin Druid? What can you be? What Druids can you be in Wrath of the Lich King? Torin. I don't. I think, um. Cataclysm invited trolls to become Druids. So. Who can be Druids in. On the Horde side? So, Orc can't be Druids. Trolls can be Druids in Cataclysm, I believe. It's either that, it's either they got introduced. Uh, trolls uh, be um, were allowed to become druids in Cataclysm or in Wrath of Lich King. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, trolls is a maybe. Druids, yeah. I mean, torrents, yes. Undead, no. Blood elves, no. And I think there's no new class for Wrath of Lich King either. Or, I mean, new race, excuse me. So yeah, I don't want to play. Basically, I don't want to play a Torn Druid. I don't like the way Torns look. I mean, I mean, I do like the way Torns look, but I just don't like how like they don't have. They have the same problem with trolls. How you can't wear like the boots and stuff, which I guess is like you know a cool little design thing. But I don't like it. I want to see the shoes, you know. But um, yeah, I want to play an Alliance character this time. Night Elf Druid. You already know what's going down. It's gonna be fun, guys. And I saw your the, the dude's comment um, on my video saying that he would like to see, or she would like to see, um, the Druid Wrath of the King leveling series. So that, guys, will be returning. I don't know. It's not gonna be like I'm not gonna. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it like right when Wrath of the Lich King Classic drops. I'm not sure. We're gonna see what games I'm playing at the time um, when it releases. Uh, so, I mean, we'll just have to see. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna wait and see, you know. It's just like a, I'm just gonna play it by ear kind of thing. Because I could be busy doing something else, you know, who knows. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. It's gonna be fun, guys. Uh, we're gonna do another leveling series. Um, you guys have been enjoying this, these videos the most on my channel. Um, so yeah, I wanna, you know, cater to you guys a little bit, you know. I don't want to be, like, neglecting y'all, you know? Because you guys are my lovely, beautiful supporters, okay? So I gotta show some love back, you already know. You already know the dealio, okay, guys? Alright? We are not stingy here. Ooh, that guy looks pretty cool. He's got a cool helmet. Who is this guy? Orc Warrior? Yeah, there are no quests here. Sheesh. Oh, but we need to buy, um... We need to buy some more potions. I need to clear my inventory as well. Alright, let's clear this. Oh, yeah, I need to go to a bank. Bad, bro. I need to go to a bank. Bad, bro. Sheesh. Yeah. I mean, there's not much we could sell. I mean, like... Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, I need to go back. I need to stop by the bank again. Alright, whatever. Let me just go buy these little Dranaic waters. Dranic waters, whatever. We'll buy 30. 30 should be cool, and you know what, uh, we have, we're okay on the health department, however, I kind of want to buy some more just in case, we'll just buy a stack, because I mean, we're shaman, so we can like heal ourselves, worst comes to worst, but okay guys, let's go here, what's time, is it 224, I'll, I'll train at the, um, the cave, just for like a little bit. We're probably gonna train there in the next video too. I'm not gonna, you know, do the whole training thing because it's gonna be boring to watch. So we'll probably like, I'll just probably show you like the last bits of it and then um, before we level up. So that'll be fun, and then we'll hopefully some quests will open up. I'm pretty sure some quests are gonna open up. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure. 
I hope at least. I know the quests. I know. I know most of the quests start opening up like level 62. Um, so here's the hoping that some open up at 61. If not, sheesh, we're actually gonna have to go back to um, Hellfire Peninsula and then gain another level there, which it's not gonna be bad. It's not gonna be bad. It's just I don't want to do it though. It's all good though, you know. Anything to progress, you feel me? Anything to progress. Alright, we're slowly but surely approaching the cave where the other Sporlocks are. Let's go ahead and help these guys, because these guys are pretty defenseless against, you know, these big guys. This big scary guy. These big scary guys, you know, so we gotta help the boys out. You already know. Yes, sir. Uh, back here again. The Fungor Cabin. Okay, this is more my speed here. Got a little 62 guy. It's also going down pretty quickly. He's not giving us a debuff either, which is great. Let me see how much experience he yields. 1,176. Hey, that's actually not bad. Alright, so I guess this will be the place where we're training for the meantime. Just some good old-fashioned training. I'm gonna just try to um, kill as many as fast as possible, so I wanna kite this guy immediately. We don't even need to wait because these guys don't really cast any like offensive spells, just defensive spells. The only thing we have to worry about is, you know, just their regular auto attacks and if they crit or not, but that's... Not that, um, you know, not that scary to me. Those other guys are pretty scary, though. That freaking, um, their wound debuff thing was pretty, uh, it, it, pretty, it was pretty, um, it's pretty painful. Pretty painful. These guys aren't bad. Yeah, we managed to kill three, I believe, three or four of these guys without even using any healing. So, yeah, much better. Much better. Uh, okay, yeah, the entrance is here. Whoops. I was like, wait, how am I seeing the, a monster in there? Is that guy, like, bugged or something? I don't even know. Alright, let's just go in here. Let's help out the homies here. And we're about halfway to um, becoming friendly with the Sporagar people, the Sporlock people. So that's going to be pretty fun, guys. I think they do give some quests, too, so... It's going to be interesting. And we could see, you know, we could check out their story, see what's going on with them, you know. What's happening with the Sporlock people, aka the Smurfs of World of Warcraft. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun and exciting time, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the videos, like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta keep saying that over and over now. Saying it the first time always makes me want to say it some more. Because it's important, guys. That is my, um... I gotta promote myself, you know? Like, I can't just be not saying, hey, guys. Like, you know, don't like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta be saying, hey, man, hit that like button, you know? Because a lot of the times, like, um, you know, as a YouTube, watching YouTuber myself, like, I don't really, I don't like watch the, I don't like subscribe to many people. And it's not because I don't like them, you know? I sometimes, I have people who I watch, like, on a daily basis that I'm not even subscribed to, you know? But it's just like, I just like, I'm just like so lazy. I don't even know. I need to subscribe to those people because, you know, that support really matters for them too, you know. So I got it. I got it. I myself have to get better at, you know, just hitting that sub button. So I will also do the same, guys. But promise me that you will like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow! And we're actually making some decent progress, guys. We're only two bars away from hitting level 61. It's not bad, guys. It's not bad at all. So it looks like this was the place that we were supposed to train at. Those guys, although they gave us good experience, we were getting it at a very, a much slower rate than we are here, so... This is the spot, my friends. Oh no, and the inventory is full. Yikers. We're about to open up one slot with these edible stalks, but literally one slot. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Alright, we're good, though. 
All right, it's 2.30. We, I got time, I got time. Technically, I had to leave my house at like three and I'll be fine, so we got some time to train. And plus I took a nap like half the, halfway through this video, so like, I don't even know how long this video is gonna end up for real. It might be like just at the hour mark. Oh, and these guys are also good to farm too because they dropped the, um, the reagents I need for my uh, shaman abilities. So yeah, that's, that's pretty nice, pretty nice guys, pretty nice. Oh no, my Sporlock buddy, he got owned. I'll avenge you, you freaking Marsh Dredger. Frick you for killing my friend. Die. All right, he's gone, he's gone. I have avenged you, my brother. I have avenged you. All right, um. Just gonna leave that. Oh, we got a little double action here. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta heal, though. Let's make sure we are at tip-top shape. Oh my gosh! And we're actually uh, two bars away. Wow. I didn't even realize that um, it was happening pretty fast. It's pretty cool. Yeah, at the other place, what is that called? The spawning glen? Oh man, that was very slow. Uh, we could probably hit both these guys with a chain light, right? Nice, very nice. Uh, we'll summon a Searing Totem to help us out, I guess. Okay, come on. Go down. Very nice. Let's Flame you. Flame Shock you. Reapply Lightning Shield. Boom. I got my all my abilities down, alright? Oh, Wild Regen. We definitely have to stop that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna leave the clams. I do like the clams, though. Because they are good for cooking, you know? Oh my god, oh my gosh, I've, I'm like, I'm like low-key, like, fiending to do professions, like, I actually want to do professions, like, I think doing, I think professions in WoW are fun, to be completely honest with you. Oh my god! Oh my god, we were about to die, holy guacamole, dude. Oh my gosh, we're literally so low. Yeah, I actually think prof doing professions is, like, pretty fun, like... It, it's like it, they don't make it boring, you know, it's like it it, it seems as it's it, they make it so it's like You know you kind of want to do it and you kind of need to do it, you know in order to get like certain upgrades certain weapons, you know So it's like very rewarding it feel it, it feels like to me. I Heard that professions kind of um, got worse as the expansions came out So I can't really speak for the expansions, you know past this one or uh tbc but tbc it's fun it reminds me of the good old days you know the good old profession days but i heard they're like doing like a profession revamp in um dragonflight so maybe that will um help professions though because i mean i mean the only reason why they'll be doing a revamp is if the profession stinks so i'm assuming that the profession stink in retail well but i, I could be wrong i don't know i don't play retail well Uh, but yeah, I heard a lot of bad things about Retail Wild. The new dragon fight looks okay. I just don't like the way the dragons look. I mean, no, like, don't get me wrong. The dragons look cool. They're fine. You know, it's, it's fine. Like, the dragons are nice. But they don't look like... Like, look at this thing, bro. Imagine, like, this thing looking like a little fairy, you know? And it's... <laughs> Because, like, dude, it's a dragon. It's supposed to look, like, menacing, epic, like kind of like scary you know but like the the, the um the dragon flight uh, models or the dragon models they kind of look like little fairy versions of dragons not gonna lie now i'm not saying there's anything wrong with them i think they look fine you know but i would have liked to see the dragons look a little bit more like you know deathwing and like maligos ysera like alex straza they don't look anything like them you know they, they look kind of like uh, a little bit weird to be honest but you know I, I still really like the design of the dragon so i'm not like seriously like i don't want to give no hate to the blizzard team like yo they're they got some good artists there bro like they're doing their thing you know but if i could make a suggestion it would be to make them look a little bit more like you know you know freaking make that dragon look like it went through freaking like world war three you know make them look a little like a little you know a little grimy. Make him look a little more savage. 
But hey, man, it's their video game. They could do whatever the fuck they want with their video game, you know what I'm saying? But that is my only suggestion for the Dragonflight expansion. Because other than that, the Dragonflight expansion looks pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to play it. It's, I'm going to have to, you know, check out the reviews once the expansion comes out. But if they're good reviews, I might play it. Because I haven't played Retail WoW since literally it launched... When, since the game launched in like 2004, like that is not a cap. I haven't played Retail WoW since. I've only been like playing private servers and stuff. So yeah, it could be fun going back to like Retail. Could be, could be. Could be also um, another means of torturing myself, but you know. It's all good, it's all good. Wait, how is this, wait. Can you, uh, what the? I didn't even attack you, bro. Why are you trying to fight me? Ooh, this guy will probably give good XP, Lord Clack. Oh shit, I'm not even attacking him, whoops. Okay. Uh, let me pop this little bandy. Oh no, we can't pop the bandy. Oh, uh, we can eat our toast, though. Let's eat our toast. Okay. Fight these guys. We're almost at, we're one and a half bars away from leveling up. We're almost one bar away from leveling up. Very good stuff, guys. It's 2.36, so we got time. Probably stop playing at like 2.50, no, like 2.40, because I gotta like get ready and stuff. All right, for these guys though, I'm gonna summon my totems. I feel like we're gonna aggro Lord Clack himself with these two. So we're just gonna play it safe. Oh nice, we did it, or he, they didn't. Oh, oh, and this guy's attacking like another guy, wow. We actually got a really good pull on that, a really lucky pull on that guy. Right, let's fight you. Come here, boy. I'm gonna bring him to my totems. Oh shit, is he, he's coming to me. Wait, what? Bro, what the, how is this guy here? How are you here, my guy? Right, we gotta hurry up and kill this guy first, just so you know, um, remove some damage away from these guys in my face, so we don't die. And we don't even need to heal, he's about to die. He's about to go down just like that, let's go, let's go guys. Oh, we got some gloves too, those are probably gonna sell for like maybe a gold. It's gonna be nice. Alright, nice. We cleared the bottom area of this dungeon. Let's just go back. Uh, we're almost a bar away from leveling up. Sheesh, guys, dude. We actually managed to get like a good amount of XP in a short amount of time. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. If I could do this fast enough, uh, we might be able to hit level 61 before the end of this video. <laughs> so let me try to go into uh, turbo mode. Let me go into turbo mode. Right, let's go over here. We have not gone up here yet. And I see some enemies. Die! Die! Oh. He trapped me. He trapped me. It's fine, though. It's fine. Alright, let's keep moving up. Well, who do we have here? We got some more Sporlocks fighting some more of these little Marsh guys. Definitely got definitely got to put it into these Marsh dudes. Got to help out my Smurf homies. Ooh, a Scroll of Agility. All our inventory is full. Oh, okay, we can actually open... Oh, a Pearl. Come on, man. Um, what do I drop? Dude, I feel like this Pearl will go for something in the auction house. Yeah, I'm gonna drop these gloves. Man. Oh my god, I really need to stop by um, Ogremar again. Dang it, dude. When I first started the series back up again, we were in Ogremar. I really should have dropped by the bank then. That was a mistake on my end. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't realize we were so low on HP. Yo, chill, fam. Are we good? Ooh, fish oils. Alright. But yeah, guys, let me tell you guys this little story. So, um, last night after I came, or I got off work, 
There's like this really like hole in there's like this hole in the wall like I think it's like a Spanish or Mexican um, restaurant and uh, once it hits like 11 p.m. they have like a dance floor and if when I went in there it really felt like I'm not even like, I'm not even trying it felt like I was stepping into another world type shit I was like what the fuck am I in am I in America like because it was so different like it was just like all Spanish people and it was like just like their culture and like. It was the it was the wildest thing because like normally like you know normally at, at clubs just people dance and whatever but like these guys like there's like a group of like adults there you know that just come and hang out and they like do square dancing and like they come in all the guys come in with cowboy hats and the ladies I feel like they should they have like a special attire but the ladies weren't wearing anything special but all the guys looked like they were like um they looked like they were cowboys and stuff I was like wow this is very cool. And I got, you know, we, I talked to a bunch of them yesterday. They were all nice people. They were just, those guys were dancing hard, though. And they weren't doing, like, no, like, you know, no regular, like, you at the club dance. They were, like, square dancing type shit. I was like, whoa, whoa. It was kind of weird. It was interesting. It wasn't weird. It was interesting. Well, it was weird in an interesting way. I think that's a good way to put it. Because I ain't never, I've never seen anything like that before, you know? Like... I, I, like, the only clubs that I've been to were, like, clubs in, like, you know, like, D.C. or, like, Baltimore or something like that. Oh, shit, I told you guys where I live. Fuck. I don't want to tell you guys where I live. Shit. Whatever, you guys know. Please don't stalk me and don't do anything crazy, please. But, yeah, I've only been to those kinds of clubs and, like, only experienced that, like, you know, culture. The American club culture. But I've never experienced, like, the Spanish, Mexican, like, dance club culture kind of thing and there was like a bunch of young people there too there's like a bunch of old people and there's a bunch of young people there's a lot of bad chicks there too bro the latina woman bro sheesh they are kind of beautiful not gonna lie i have a soft spot in my heart for a lot nice latina woman however i'm scared to commit to a latina woman because I heard they are crazy. Crazier than Asian women, and Asian women are crazy. Let me repeat that again. Asian women are, in fact, crazy. But I heard Latinas are crazier than... A Latina women are crazier than Asian women. That's what I heard. Which is kind of hard to believe because Asian women, like I said, I am going to repeat once again. I repeat. For all my homies out there, all my boys out there. Asian women are crazy. I'm just gonna say that right there. Okay. Alright, but ain't nothing wrong with the little crazy guys, alright? I'm just letting you guys know that's a warning. <laughs> like, just know what you're getting into when you're dating an Asian girl or a, a Latina girl. They, you're gonna... You, you might, okay? Might. You know, you could have... She could be completely normal and fine. And, and the normal crazy, you know? You know, the justifiable crazy, you know? But you might get the one offers, and you might get like you know a real crazy chick, you know. But yeah, I love my Latina woman. I love my Asian woman. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do we have any ladies in the in the chat? In the chat, I think we have like a couple girls who watch my channel. Um, so yeah, if the if there are any girls watching, are you guys? Latina or Asian and if you guys are all right be honest with me okay be honest with me are you crazy <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you like I think like like I said you know I think there is something called normal crazy you know like you know like there's nothing wrong with being crazy like as long as you're not like you know freaking like slashing my tires and shit and like keying my car then that's when things get a little bit crazy and i'm gonna have to get the f out of town out of town with that noise but yeah if there are any ladies who watch my channel and you are latina or asian are you the crazy type let me know and if you have a story to you know uh say with that uh i would love to know or if you don't want to expose yourself it's fine I, I, um, I understand. But yeah. Because I ain't never heard of, like, white women being, like... I mean, yeah, I actually have heard of white women being crazy, but not as crazy as Latinas or Asians. Like, I feel like white crazy is just, like, you know, normal. Like, the... 
like the base level, you know. And then it goes up a level when you go to Asian. And then up another level when you go to Latina. Alright, but anyways, enough talking. Let's... We're almost there, guys. Wow, it's not even three yet. Um, it's getting close, though. I'm kind of scared. I think we could do it, though. But let's, maybe, if we fight, maybe if we fight Lord Clack again, we could get, like, a pretty good amount of XP. Because I saw him respawning again, so... Let's fight Lord Clack again. Maybe we'll get that level up when we finish him off and his buddies. Because he has, like, four people around him. So it'll be good experience. Um... Oh wow, there's a lot of guys here actually. Uh, I'm just gonna drop down on these guys for real. I'm gonna drop down and just freaking full on YOLO Leroy Jenkins. Just fight them all. Because these guys aren't too tough. Alright, here we go. What's up guys? I'm here. Let's fight. Let's fight. Oh, we got another guy here. Let me make sure I hit him first so he doesn't kill my totems. Uh, I'm gonna pop my rage here actually. Uh, can we stop his regen? We can. Very cool. Okay, one down. Uh, I'm gonna pop a heal skis here. We can reapply our lightning shield. Boom. Okay, let's stop that. Yes, let's go. Nice. Alright, can pop this little. Oh, wait, we already used a bandy recently. Can't use it again. Uh, is this clock right? Yeah, it's uh, well, it's, it's a little bit slow. It's a minute slow. Oh no, it is right, but it's just like on the wrong time. It's on realm time, so the, the time is right. All right, well, let's fight these guys. Um, we should, I feel like, by the end of it, be very, very close to leveling up, like super close. If not already leveled up, you know. And sorry guys, if I like low-key sometimes don't make sense. I'm not the greatest talker, like I'm, I don't know, like putting words together. It's not like my greatest thing I can do, it's not my greatest talent. So if sometimes I, you know, sometimes don't make sense, I'm sorry about that. Oh, my homies here, my smurf homies, they're here to help me, thanks guys. Alright, so yeah, nice, nice. Uh, do we have another clan? We don't. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's, we can use the bandy here. Oh my gosh, guys. We're about half a bar away from leveling up, dudes. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. This is gonna be the moment of truth, too. To find out if we can, you know... If we have to stay here or we have to leave. I really hope we get to stay here. Because, bruh... I don't want to go back to Hellfire. I don't want it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Ow. Oh, I forgot we got we're getting like carps too, which is pretty nice. It's gonna be it's basically it's just free health potions, so or food or whatever. I'll take it! I will take it. Oh my gosh, that nap though was actually so clutch. I feel more energized. For sure, for sure. I'm just so hungry now. Oh my god, I haven't even eaten anything all day yet, bro. I need to eat something. Oh, what the? This guy using the regeneration now? Oh, okay. Alright, let's help our little spore, guys. I'm here, I'm here. Let's fight Lord Clack. Oh my god, he's already at 40% life, bro. He's already dead, too. Sheesh. Alright, we're half a bar away. I feel like if we kill everything on our way out, we will definitely have dinged level 61. Freak yes, dudes. Uh, so excited. Oh no, I need to also upload my video, dude. Ugh, I might be a little bit late for work. Because then I need to make my thumb. I need to make the thumbnail. I'm probably going to be really lazy with the thumbnail this time around. Just because I'm kind of in a rush. So I think we might be able to do it. But yeah, I have to upload my other video um, that I was going to upload today. Who the heck? Oh my god, that scared me. Holy crap, I thought that was like a different type of monster. It's like, bro, what? I was like, brother, what? Oh shit. 
Oh, let me just cancel that. Oh, come on, come on. Let me get the heal wall. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing things. Oh, no, what the? I don't want to loot you. Okay, oh my god, we're getting there, guys. Look at our experience bar. Dude. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh no, we don't have enough space for fish oil. I need to make space for the fish oil. Sheesh, what do I drop though? <sighs> Fuck it, we're dropping these uh, insignias. It's for the Scarlet, or it's for the Eastern Plague Lands, but I don't think we're gonna go back there. I'll just drop them. I was thinking of going back there to like complete all the quests, that's why I literally have all the quests here. I didn't, you know, I didn't abandon them. Because I was going to go back, but... Man, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. It's like two or three more of these marsh guys, then we level up. Oh my gosh, we did it, guys. We did it, and it's not even 3 p.m. yet. Let's freaking go, dudes. Let's freaking do it, guys. Alright, so we have three up here. That is very nice. Oh, and then the spore lock's trying to get down. Alright, hold on, guy. I can help you out. Just let me kill this guy and I need to heal after. Wait, what? Man, what the? We're in combat because of this fool? Bro, I don't... Man, this freaking... How are we in... How, how are we in combat, bro? How, how are you fighting me? Oh my god, bro. No way this happened. No way this happened. Come on, I need this rage. No way, bro. Oh my god, I have to pop my potions. Bro, wait, what? How did this guy attack me? No way. It's like that freaking... That Sporlock aggroed into me. I don't even know how. What the hell? Man, I'm starting to not like these guys. Freaking trying to get me killed. Freaking Sporlocks. I'll forgive you this time, though. Alright? I'll forgive you just this once. Alright, guys. Literally, we just need to kill one more, right? Uh, we need to kill two more, actually. So, that, yeah, because they give, like, 1,176. Oh, we might need to kill three or two, I think. I think it's just two. Alright, well, moment of truth. Let's find out, guys. One or two. Are you going to be the one to give me a level, good sir? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so, I hope so. Level up? Oh, no level up. Okay, this one. You will give me the level. Come on, come on, baby. Give me that le- Oh. Alright, it's one more, right? No, I think it's two more, actually. Yeah, I have to kill two more of these guys. I had to do some quick math real quick. It should be two more. Oh, we have a guy here. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't use your wild regrowth. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is two more. Gosh darn it. Hey, I think this is Shaman, Shampoo Bear. Shampoo Bear. Oh, wow, I actually get it. Shampoo Bear. But it's like, sh instead of, instead of Sham, it's Sham, so it's like Shampoo, like a Shaman. Interesting name there, my friend. I do like it. Very punny name. I enjoy puns myself. I am a pun enjoyer myself. If you guys didn't know. Frick! Yes, dudes. We hit it, boys. We hit level 61. Oh my goodness gracious. We did it, guys. I can't tell you how excited I am because that means that more quests are going to open up. We can finally stop doing just the grinding thing. It's going to be great. Or at least I hope. Hopefully we don't get jabated and we walk into Scenario and Refuge and see no quest. That would be a very sad way to end the video off. But it's okay. We will make a way if that happens. All right. There's If there is a will, there is a way, my friends. All right. And I'm going to find that freaking way. Whether it takes the life of me, alright? 
But, okay, I don't want to speak too soon. Alright. I'm speaking ahead of myself. I'm jumping the gun, as they call it. Let's go find out and see if we get some quests. Let's go. Okay, let's go exploring down the road. We're exploring down the road into the Cenarian Refugee. Oh, okay guys, we got a ding here from Warden Hamut. Just one though, which makes me kind of worried. Um, do we have any other guys that give us quests? Maybe Yisiel opens up her quest at level 61? She does. Bro, let's go guys. Alright, I'm gonna just, since we're already here, I'm just gonna check out Swamp Rat Post very quickly because I'm pretty sure I saw some great exclamation points there which means that we were a little bit too low to gather to get that quest so hopefully those turn yellow and we could pick them up that would be very very nice and also we could check out um, Zabrogen too um, maybe some quests open up there as well maybe potentially Oh man, guys, in our rested experience bar, it's it's done with. I think we uh, got like three levels with the rested experience bar. That's pretty crazy. All right, yeah, so we still have a gray quest or a gray exclamation point here. Um, it looks like uh, no one else here. Uh, let me go sell something to this guy. Sell some stuff to this dude. Man. Uh, oh man, you go to Shatra City, bro. Like, I need to I need to go to a bank. I'm about to go to a bank um, in the next video. We need to, we really need to stop by a bank. Like, I can't even sell anything. Nothing here is sellable. Like, I need, oh, here we go, actually, this. Just literally one thing. Sheesh. Like, this fell cloth, I could probably vendor it because we only have two. I was thinking of, you know, going to the auction house with. Oh, the clam meat. I didn't even realize that. Uh, maybe we should have kept the clam meat for cooking, but. Then again, our cooking isn't really that high. It's fine. We can always find him later. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go back to the Syrian Refuge so I can get that Rusted XP. So I'm gonna end the video there. But dang, no quest at the Swamp... <clears throat> oh my god, excuse me. No quest at the Swamp Rat Post. Oh, that was gross, excuse me. Unfortunately, but we got two quests here. Oh, oh my god. We got, excuse me, we got two quests here at the Syrian Refuge, which is cool. So that's what's up, guys. That is what's up. All right, actually, I'm gonna end the video in front of this Kodo thing. This guy looks pretty cool. End the video here. Let me get off my mount. Okay. All right, guys. But that is going to be the end of the video. Um, what did we do? We did the Feral Fen quest. We did a couple of quests. Uh, I kind of forget. Oh, we did the um. Sorry, I forgot. I literally just woke up, so like I low key like forgot. Like, what did we just do? We did the um the wanted poster quest. Shout out to Jinju, the guy, the hunter, troll hunter who helped us do those quests. We definitely wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So shout out to that dude. Appreciate the help. Um, yeah. After that, after we did the wanted poster quest, we did the quest in Zabra Jin. And then we grinded our way up to 61. Now we're back here at the Cenarian Refuge. We got a couple of quests that opened up, so that's very, very good. We're gonna go ahead and do those. I don't think we're gonna, I don't think it's gonna be enough to level us up to 62 though, so we might be in a tough situation again in the next video, but we'll find out. Um, I think that's gonna be it for me today, guys. If you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what your favorite Outland Zone is. I would love to hear. And I'll see you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm done. 
I need, I'm tired. I need to upload my other video today, and I need to get ready for work. I need, I need, I need this shit. Peace out, guys. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.